I am Arion. This is Truth Be Told. Now that we have cleaned house, we can get serious about knowing God's Word to know God's Word. And I'll put the words so you can differentiate between the Word and the Word. So let me just give a quick introductory of why I started this channel. I was studying God's Word and I was convicted because it says that the elder, elder women are to teach the younger women and I was not doing that. I also want to be fruitful because we're called to be fruitful and if we're not fruitful then that vine is cut off. I do not want to be cut off. Sometimes we have to do things that we don't want to do. Jonah comes to mind. So I'm trying to be obedient to God and to God's word. And I understand that my last video probably triggered a lot of people. I have two more coming. I can't care what people, how their feelings are going to be hurt. If I am telling or sharing God's word, then that's what I need to do. The good news is, is that the people that got triggered, there's still hope for them. So they're probably not going to get the information from me, but that's okay. The word has been put out. It's in their mind. Hopefully it's taking up residency and hopefully God is still working on them. So because I was convicted, I started this channel to be salty, to share God's word, not to unbelievers, not to men, and certainly not to men that are in a European religion. I am here for women. I am here for believing women. I am here for women that claim to be Christians who are being deceived who are being, who are getting involved with Enneagrams, New Age, Yoga, Witchcraft, etc. That's why I started this channel. For God. Not for me. Not for subscribers. Not to be popular. For God. And because I don't want to be cut off. Is that a selfish reason? Yes, it is. But if you believe in once saved, always saved, then that's not an issue for you. But what I see is that a lot of people are still living in sin when they claim to be Christians. So one of the very first videos that I'm going to post after this one is an infant view of going through the Bible. I'm going to get a brand new Bible and I'm going to walk through it as if you've never opened a Bible before. Because I had to stop and think about when I first became saved, I didn't really understand the layout of the Bible. I mean, I knew Old Testament, New Testament. I understood that. I, I kind of knew vaguely where the books were obviously you know like old like kings first kings second kings chronicles i understood that that was the old testament genesis obviously i understood matthew mark luke and john was in the new testament revelation new testament i understood that but i didn't really understand like how it all connected together I also didn't understand how to like have a reading plan and I know that there are people out there that will take up a Bible and just let it flop open and then blindly choose a verse and that would be the verse that they read for that day. Please don't do that. That's not how to read the Bible. That's kind of using like luck or chance or what have you. Uh, I'm also going to recommend 
that if you've never read the Bible before, you might want to start with the New Testament. I didn't. I did actually start with Genesis, but I know a lot of people start with Genesis and get bored and stop. I will include information about the reading plan that I'm using this year. It's only a five day reading plan, but I love how it is laid out. It is a, it is sort of based on the chronological, and I have a chronological Bible, but I've never read a chronological Bible. I haven't read it. So this layout is five days. I recommend doing seven. Honor God every day, not just one day a week. It has, it started out with Genesis, then it had Psalms, and then it started out with, I'm not remembering which book it started out with, but it wasn't Matthew. I don't think it was Matthew. I don't think I've read Matthew yet. Maybe it was. Okay, so I'll put, put which one it was. Then Numbers, and then another, well, it wasn't Numbers next, but it has Old Testament, Old Testament, New Testament. But the Psalms aligns with the Old Testament, but it also is prophecy because it aligns with Jesus. And so it's fascinating. Whoever did this reading setup did a phenomenal job. I want to say that I've done something like this before, but I don't think it was five days. I think it was seven. Anyways, I'll, I'll try and find the information. I'll try and put it in. I'll put it in the description box, the link, if I can find the link. And if I can't find the link, I don't know. I'll figure something out because I I want you guys to see it. If you don't already have a reading plan, I want you to get a reading plan. So my next video up will be a very simplistic walkthrough of an unmarked Bible to help people. And please keep in mind that this video, this channel was not started for atheists it was not started for men. I don't want to teach men. That's not my job. It, the Bible says not to do that. Uh, I can witness to men, but I cannot teach men. Uh, it was started for women who claim to be Christians, who are not living the Christian lifestyle that God calls us to live. And that's going to step on a lot of toes. I get that. But I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm doing it for God. Okay, so I'm not doing it for subscribers. I'm not doing it for YouTube. I'm not doing it for the world. So if one person comes to Christ and straightens out their life, one woman, what, for God, because of any of these videos, then to God be the glory, okay? But I was convicted, and I want to be obedient, and so that's why this channel exists. That's, that's it, okay? So I understand that the previous video is not popular, probably is going to be hated more than my Halloween, Halloween video. We need to lean on God's word, okay? So anyway, thank you very much for your time. For everybody that stuck around, thank you very much. Have a blessed day.